For the past two years, my brother and I have been running the original rear derailleurs on our ICE VTXs. I've been running this SRAM X9 10-speed derailleur, and Rich has been running this SRAM GX 10-speed model. For the most part, they've functioned well, but there has been one persistent problem, rear derailleur cable breakage. A quick search of the internet shows that this can be a common problem with these models. As you can see here, the cable is routed at somewhere near a 90 degree angle where it turns into sort of a trough on the back end of the rear derailleur. This bend is where all of our cables would break. We were also having some issues with the SRAM paddle shifters as you witnessed in a previous video, I had already changed the springs in my shifter once, they were loosening again, and riches were also starting to go. I had a nice set of Dura-Ace bar end shifters laying around, so we figured we'd swap those out for the SRAM shifters, and we decided to go with the Shimano Diori Shadow Plus RDM5120 rear derailleur as it was a nice compromise between quality and value. Also, the derailleur cable doesn't bend over at an angle, it's just a straight shot to the anchor bolt. Well, the Dura-Ace bar end shifters didn't have a long enough cable throw to work with the derailleurs, so we went with a micro shift advent paddle shifter. We saved a little money by going with the 9-speed version, and since we were going to keep everything in friction mode anyway, they would work just fine with the 10-speed derailleurs. Everything's on and adjusted and so far feels great. We'll have to report later on the long-term performance of this setup, so here's hoping we don't see any more busted rear derailleur cables for a good long time.